So um, the CQC has got a number of priorities for all its work, and that is to um, promote improvement in health and social care, to um, to be more uh, using more intelligence, to work effectively in a shared manner with other people in the work that they do, and also to be efficient and effective within ourselves. Um, in terms of mental health, um, our inspections have identified a number of areas where we think improvements need to be made, and we've been able to bring those together to really identify our key priorities for the year ahead. So that includes things like ensuring that restrictive interventions are only used um, appropriately and are kept to the minimum, um, ensuring that the physical environment where people receive their care um, is as good as possible, for example, the elimination of dormitory accommodation, for improving the sexual safety of people using mental health inpatient services, rehabilitation nearer to home, um, and improving how we look at closed communities. Uh, that's particularly in the light of Wharton Hall. So quite a lot of priorities, those are just a few of them. So um, in our inspections what we are finding is that the services that need to improve the most are for people with a severe mental illness um, and particularly uh, people who are needing service because they are in a crisis um, and are acutely unwell. So um, in terms of the short term, I think the things we feel most encouraged about that are coming through from the long term plan are the um, developments um, in uh, the provision of particular things like psychiatric liaison services um, and um, uh, crisis and home treatment teams, um, which we think will be very important for ensuring that patients can access the services they need at the time that they need them. Um, in terms of the longer term, I think we're very um, pleased to see that um, there is the work towards the integration of community mental health services so that patients um, get a proper joined up experience with their GP, with their mental health services and perhaps some of their other physical health needs as well. So um, short term and long term I think those are the areas that um, we feel most positive about. So um, we think collaboration is very important um, and as an organisation we strive very, very hard to ensure that um, everything that we do is collaborative and thinks about people's overall health and um, well-being. Um, so, um, you know, for example, in the work that we've done on mental health, um, we've worked very collaboratively with other partners such as NHS Improvement and NHS England to make sure that we are aligned and there's been a particular programme that has been set up called the Mental Health Safety Improvement Programme which has focused on a few areas in particular. There's one which has been about um, restrictive practices and now there's one about sexual safety and that is bringing together professionals from all over the country to actually talk about how how these um, areas can be addressed more, um, more appropriately um, within, within the services that are being um, delivered. Now there, there is more that we need to do in collaboration with others and an area that we would very much like to see taken forward in, in the next year is the work around improving the physical environment that patients receive care in and we're doing a piece of work at the moment looking at which are the key areas which need to be improved and hopefully linking it in with our partners about ensuring that the capital comes through to make, make sure those improvements take place. Um, I'm really enjoying today's conference and it's great to see so many people in the room enthusiastic about improving uh, mental health care 
for, for people across the community and bringing a wealth of experience with them. I think one of the things that um, I feel quite excited about, but also perhaps a little bit daunted by as well, and recognise as an area where we need to develop further, is around the use of digital technology um, in the care of people with mental health needs. This is such a growing area. Um, it's something very exciting and I think it's going to make a very significant change to how services are delivered in the future. But equally, as a regulator, we need to make sure that those services are delivered well um, for people that are using them. So um, I'm looking forward to taking that work forward.